engage youth in our organization in a number of different ways. Uh, on, a, on a daily basis, as, as students are involved in different projects, whether they be science research projects, media production projects, or entrepreneurism projects, students are making decisions on a daily basis as to what they are interested in pursuing and then being uh, uh, helped to facilitate those uh, interests in moving forward. Um, so that they can do things that are not only of interest to them, but will help them to ex excel. Greater Twin Cities United Way, we're, we work with um, a number of different stakeholders, and um, so we tend to be a convener in the community here, and so we absolutely value um, bringing people together uh, that come from different perspectives um, around a singular topic. We work with youth. Uh, we have a youth board, uh, you know, in all of our programming, we actually have time a lot at where, where the youth kind of drive the direction and decide how and what they want to learn. Um, and there's youth in all of our programming. So, you know, they're at the focus of it. Um, whether uh, we're teaching them or they're teaching us, we're trying to figure that out still. We have started, uh, we have opened up um, a position on our board for a high school student. And that's been exciting to get her involved for the last few years, but we need more youth involved. It's, it's something that uh, will really make a difference as we address youth issues uh, to have that youth voice at the table. What CBAS does is we take best practices from around the country to ensure more cities and regions um, can build out of school time systems. So it's um, what we do is we take this information, we advocate for federal policy, we promote lessons learned and best practices, um, and it's a core part of our mission, which makes us a bit distinct. And for other organizations, it's a piece of what they do, but for us at a national level, it's core to what we do.